We heard 13 of Hawaii's best kitchens were teaming up for one event this Saturday at the Hyatt Regency Waikiki Beach Resort and Spa. Of course, we had to go check it out. And of course, we went inside the kitchen at Dean and Duluc uh, Hawaii at Ritz Carlton for a taste next on Living It Right. 13 of Hawaii's best kitchens, one outstanding foodie event. And I had the pleasure of visiting Dean and Deluca Hawaii at the Ritz Carlton Residences and with Rachel. Tell me about this outstanding space that's here at Ritz Carlton. Well, welcome. This is Dean and Deluca at the Ritz Carlton where we offer a full service deli and a cafe. We also have a full service restaurant upstairs. What do you think makes this so unique? Because there's a lot of great places to eat in Hawaii, but yours is different. Because Dina Zuka was established in 1977 in New York, we try to maintain that tradition by bringing international flavors together, specializing in Hawaii products. Well, it certainly shows being one of Hawaii's best kitchens taking part in this event. What is Chef going to be making for that? Chef is preparing a special dish called taco pulehu, and which is not on our menu. He made it especially for Hawaii's best kitchen. It was an honor to be invited this year. All right, can we go upstairs and see what he's working on in the kitchen? Yes, absolutely. Here we are with executive chef Kevin. Tell me about this dish and how you prepare it. Yeah, so we have a, a polejo taco. Um, so what we do is we poach it in Lanikai Brewing's uh, Mele Mele beer, which is their lemon beer. Um, and then what we do is we have a little bit of marlin pate that we make in-house. We smoke our marlin. Uh, on the top of that, we do ho'io ferns, which we go and harvest from Big Island in Hilo. Uh, so we make a gremolata out of that. Uh, we get mountain apples, and we pickle it in a ohia lehua honey uh, pickling mixture. We just put it all together. At the top, it's uh, finished with a little bit of beetroot uh, dehydrated. All right, let's see this magic happen here. And you really do have a big focus on the local ingredients. We do, yeah. So, you know, we really try to strive to not only get the normal uh, local ingredients that everyone uses, but go out ourselves and harvest our ho'io ferns or warabe, um, get our mountain apples, whatever's in season, whatever's freshest. Um, it really makes us stand out a little more. And we really want locals to know they can come out here for brunch. They can visit the deli downstairs and dine and enjoy wine and a terrific meal. Absolutely, you know, we have a lot of comfortable uh, food. You know, a lot of locals, they get scared when they see fine dining or they get scared when they hear something that they don't know. But um, what we do here is we do a lot of local uh, style food. We turn it up a little bit, but uh, it's very comfort food to locals. Uh, so we, we do welcome them a lot. Been busy in the kitchen. What all do we have here? Yeah, so we have a mix from our brunch menu and our after hours menu. Uh, so our first one is our saffron bouillabaisse. We do this at brunch. This is our homage to fishing, which I'm a huge fisherman. And then we have a hot pohaku. So table side, we would serve it with our saffron bouillabaisse. Uh, so the bouillabaisse is made with mempachi that we catch ourselves. Our next dish is our brunch menu as well. It's a local mocha. So we have a Kunoa beef Wagyu Angus breed from Big Island in Waimea. On our lounge menu, we have our Hokkaido scallop. So we sear that in brown butter. We do a Hudson Valley foie gras. We sear that as well. Something on our new menu is a seared duck. So we have a seared duck breast with our uh, Vadu Van uh, Marcona almond sauce. I think I need to try all of this, but certainly the, the taco, you don't mind. And we're going to get information on how people can attend. Again, the event is Saturday. Mm. All right. Thank you both so much. This is excellent. What a fabulous event. How can people get tickets? We hope to see everyone this Saturday at the Hyatt Regency Waikiki Beach Hotel. You can get tickets um, by following at Hawaii's Best Kitchen. There's a link. To purchase tickets. All right, get your tickets and you can sample that dish and more dishes from 12 of the other Hawaii's best kitchens. Oh man, 
delicious. And you know, Farron, who works behind the scenes putting together all these fantastic stories, said that was the best locomoco. And he's kind of a connoisseur of that that he has ever had. You can get that on the brunch menu. But amazing space, free parking if you just want to go to Deed and DeLuca, if you want to go to the Hawaii's Best Kitchens again Saturday at 7. You had me at uh, <laughs> uh, locomoco. <laughs>